All right, so um, I just wanted to record um, how to, this particular technique on how to make some seams on a cushion. Um, so if I get in real close here, you can see that there's like seams running across this cushion, which is different from the other cushion that I made that has you know piping on it or whatever. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and just take this cushion right here and do the same thing. And so I'm going to isolate the cushion. And later on, I'm going to add some. Uh, I want. I want to have the ability to use the multi-resolution modifier in order to um, sculpt on it, sculpt in wrinkles if I choose. So I'm going to go ahead first and just um, add a seam down the middle here, and then um, I want to put it into orthographic view and just make some edge loops. And I want to make it so that they're squares. So those look like squares to me, or at least pretty close. And then um, go to the front view and do the same thing. So go ahead and add that. All right, so now I've gotten the thing kind of broken out into squares, which is what I wanted to start with. And um, so I need to decide how high up I want the seam to start. And I want it to be consistent with the other things that I've done, or the other cushion that I did. So. Let me uh, just come look at this. All right, so basically I have it starting right, right as it, you know, this this round part ends. So I'm gonna do the same with this one. So let me isolate it again, and then I'm going to select this edge here. And I can't just select the edge loop, obviously, because it'll select too much. So I'm going to use uh, control when I RMB click and there, there I go so I've got that seam here and I'm just trying to remember how exactly I did this I'm pretty sure this is how I how I did it um, one thing I'm gonna do just in case I end up having to come back here is I'm gonna go to a vertex group and I'm just gonna click that and I'm just gonna say seam and then I'm going to say assign. So if I deselect it, when I select it, yep, it's working. So good. All right. So um, there are two techniques that you can use. You can either use um, the bevel tool or you can use the edge offset tool. And they both pretty much do the exact same thing. And I remember now that I actually did select the whole seam. And so that's what I'm going to, I'm going to do it the same way as the other way. But um, the edge offset tool and the bevel tool, bevel tool kind of do the same thing. So let me let me show you here. So if I select this loop, and I use the edge offset tool, which is Control Shift R, then I can pull out and just you know set a you know two edges on the outside of it. And I'm gonna actually just make sure that my doubles are removed. I don't know why, but when I use the edge offset tool, sometimes it seems like there's uh, creates duplicates. Maybe I don't know. Um, but anyway, the bevel tool will do pretty much the same thing if you hit Control B and drag out. The only thing is you have to roll the mouse, the middle mouse button up one to basically add in another segment, which gives you back your center loop. Otherwise, it does the exact same thing. And so, uh, let me uh, go back to my notes here because I. I wrote down the values anyway. So, and see if I if I uh, if I select this whole thing again and remove doubles, there's nothing. So I don't know what the deal is with. Uh, but anyway, um, so I'm gonna hit Control B for bevel. I'm gonna drag it out. I'm gonna roll another segment in there, and I'm gonna say 0 .005, which is what I had down, and then um, I'm gonna bevel again. So I'm gonna I'm going to actually select this section again. And let me go let me just go analyze how I did the other one. And it's not like the other one's perfect or anything, but I'm just trying to stay consistent. Um, it looks like let me zoom in here. Yeah, it looks like I did also that second bevel up there. Maybe that was a mistake, I don't know. Um, anyway. So let me just go back. And 
so I've got this selected. I'm going to say Control D, drag it out, roll another one in, and we'll say point zero zero two on this one. And then here is where I uh, fatten the edges. So I'm going to use Control and right right mouse button to select as I go along here. Oops, wrong one. So I should have that selected right, correctly. And I'm going to save this one for sure. I'm just going to call this one Edge 1. And I'll assign that. And then I'll just deselect it and select it. This is just me checking to make sure that it's working. All right, so um, anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fatten it. So I'm going to hit Alt S. And I'm going to come out. I'm going to say 0 .003, like that. Like that. And then I'm going to just do the same for the other side. So let me uh, hit Control there. So I hit Shift, so Control Z. And then I'm going to hit, hold down Control and right mouse button there. Usually I have the uh, hotkey display thing, but I forgot to turn it on. But as long as I'm saying what I'm doing, I guess that works. Control, right mouse button. I've selected that. And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, say edge 2, assign, all right, and then deselect it, select it. Yeah, I've got it. All right. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add another bevel edge to this edge right here. So control B. This time I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to, to add another subdivision. I'm just going to go 0 .002 on this one. I can't remember if that's, or if I did that right, or... That just looks wrong. Oh, the reason why it looks wrong is because I've skipped a step. So let me uh, just uh, hit all tabs here. And then uh, to fatten, and then go point zero zero three. It shrinks or fattens based on which way you drag the cursor. All right, now I'm going to say Control B, and I'm going to say point zero zero two. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And then I'm going to go back to this edge here. I'm going to select that. Actually, I'm going to deselect everything. With A. I'm going to go back to the first edge. I'm going to say Select, and then I'm going to say Control B, and then I'm going to say point zero zero two. Obviously, the values that you would use are just whatever looks good. So now I'm going to up here just to clean this up. Is I'm going to uh, just select those two and hit J to join those two vertices and J to join those two vertices. Same on this side. And then I'll just grab these right here, and I'm just going to say G to grab it, X to go into the X axis, and just kind of pull it in. So that it, you know, kind of goes flush, and then I'm going to just do the same thing on the other side here. So, um, J, J. Actually, another. You can also just do Shift R. That just repeats the uh, last move that you did, or the last operation, and then uh, hit G X and drag it in. All right, so now uh, that seam, I think that's going to come in handy here because I'm going to say select. Nope. So anyway, it changed. You know, I all I, by my, the changes I made, it messed up that. So I'll just go ahead and delete that right there. Um, so let me grab this because this is where I, where I do want my seam to be, and then uh, control right mouse button over here control right mouse button and then control right mouse button oops control Z again make sure I'm getting it in the right spot there and then uh, control E mark seam and then the way that I did it and I just was trying to kind of do it the way that I think a 
real cushion would be as far as the seams go. So I selected these two. I really have to just train myself to use control because I'm so used to just single clicking edges and it's such a waste of time. So um, anyway, so it's something that I'm trying to work on. Control, control, because what that does is it basically just will do the shortest distance. And uh, I th think this is pretty much how I did it last time. There, and then uh, I'm just going to shift, control. All right, so I'm going to say control E and mark seam. And so that's where my seam is going to be. And I have to do it on the other side as well. Kind of boring, but let's just get it done. So let's try this. Contr let's try selecting this. Control. Nope. So sometimes you have to, you know, direct it around, you know, where you want it when you're doing like the shortest path. So control. Add that in there with the shift. Come down here. Make sure that I'm doing it right here. Control. Yeah. Control. Control. RMB. Shift RMB. Control RMB. Oops, shift RMB. Alright, so mark seam. Now I'm just going to select the whole thing. I'm going to drag this over. Change it to the UV image editor. Hit U, unwrap, and it's going to unwrap based on how I did my seams, which is exactly what I wanted. And then, um, so now I've got this cushion, and it has a fabric, you know, cycles texture on it. And if I just go to the render view here, the rendered mode. Um, Anyway, so it's it's given a nice seam there, and it's also you know the seam is broken up, kind of on the texture, kind of where uh, where I think a real cushion would be. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to capture that, and um, in case I need to do it again someday and forget how I did it, and maybe I'll come up with a better way. So anyway, that's what I want to show. Thank you.